This is Tracy from Photo Scraps, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect bow with the bow making tool. Stay tuned! I'm going to be using one of the prototypes that we had. So this one's not as pretty as the ones that you can buy at the store. The ones that we have at the store now um, are all made by Lisa Halstead's husband, Nathan, who is very handy with the machine, the wood making machines. And so he made us some wonderful little bow makers. Now, to make a bow, it is super easy. I know a lot of people always complain, oh, I love that card, but I don't want to have to tie the bow on the card because I can't tie a good bow. Well, I can't tie a good bow either unless I'm using this tool. So what you can do is you're going to take your ribbon. I'm doing a really small bow, so I have my pegs very close together. You wrap the ribbon around the bow making tool. Pretend it's a neck, like you're tying your husband's necktie. You're going to wrap it around the neck of the tool. And then you're going to have two tails. The tail that goes over the top is the piece that you're going to take under, all the way around, and back over the top. And then you're just going to tie a nice little knot. I usually do like a little square knot, just enough to make it kind of even. You want to have your knot right in the middle, and you want to pull it tight, so that way your, your little bow doesn't fall apart and then that is a perfect little bow. You notice I left my ribbon intact because I have this big long tail. That way I don't waste any ribbon when I'm cutting the little bows. I can always have just the right amount of ribbon and not waste. Let's cut that little tail. Ah, obviously I need sharper scissors. And then you have another little bow. Now a lot of times when you take one of my classes, I have um, big loopy bows on my cards and on my scrapbook pages. So to do the big loopy bows I have my um, two prongs separated a little further apart and I have some of my um, seam binding. Um, same thing I'm going to have a little tail but when I wrap my ribbon around my bow making tool I don't care if it gets twisted it's fine I just wrap it around three four five times however big and fluffy you want to have that bow. So you just wrap it around. Again, you're going to keep the one tail that's on top. You're going to take it underneath all the pieces, pull it back over the top, and then you just take this little piece. I just kind of come under and through the hole to tie the knot. Real important to keep that knot right in the center because once you pull it tight, you can't move it and then you just slide it off your pegs and you have a big loopy bow. So then what I do is I just separate out the pieces so that way I can get my ribbon nice and big and fluffy. And that is how easy it is to use a bow making tool to tie the perfect bow. We have these in stock at Photo Scraps, so please come and see us soon. Take care.